Dude, like, this, one this used to be my shit. Really? Yeah. yeah. No, I, don't, I never played the game like well, but I think I knew about it when I was little. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Fucking. I think. Should face us not speaking. I think the fucking. Well, cheers, bro. Mm. Shit. Cheers to you, sir. Thank you. I think the biggest, the biggest problem as well with with the, with the dope and heroin game, is that like it's so cheap. Oh my god, it's, it's so, so cheap. like and yo like yo it's scientifically like yo that shit is scientifically than, made for you to have to like it. <clears throat> yeah, one less like, than one killers, per, yeah, less than one percent of people like like stop doing heroin and never go back to it, it again. Because like your brain <clears throat> is chemically forced to have. Yeah, like, no. Yo, your brain has heroin in it. Yeah, technically. Yeah, technically it has everything that we could put into our brain into our brain already. Yeah, exactly. That's how we have the receptors for it. But but like the like the her- <clears throat> like heroin releases triggers in your brain just like you would want to fucking eat a burger. Yeah. When you get cheese, message. bro. Cheese. Exactly. Yeah, bro, I'm addicted to cheese right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even lying, bro. Why? I stop, I mean, uh, I'm trying to go vegan, yo, and fucking cheese is the, like, the last thing that I need to get out of my system. Like, I okay. don't eat meat, I don't eat fish, I don't shit. eat fucking, I eat cheese and butter. You know what I mean? Like, those, that's the dairy that I consume and that shit literally, literally, <clears throat> people have had like, Cat scans like MRIs, put that shit in them, and like have you show how your brain lights up when you eat like cheese or do eat that. sugar yeah, or do yeah, cocaine, yeah, and yeah, literally like the same, same parts of your brain <laughs> yeah. light up. So, I feel like I was watching probably the same shit. We, we probably we probably were we probably were, but literally like I'm like fucking cheddar cheese, man. <laughs> so good. so so I how how'd, how'd you stop? How'd you start with meat? Like how'd you why'd you go on? Why'd you go? Uh, on I stopped eating meat well, yeah. last year. I uh, <clears throat> I met this girl who was a vegetarian, and she would just sort of fuck with me and be like, "Oh yeah, how's that fucking like animal flesh?" And she's just like stupid shit like that, right? And I was just like, "All right, yo, like shut the fuck up, like I like yeah. my burgers and shit, yeah. like leave me alone." But then uh, <clears throat> I was actually I went to Easter dinner with my uh, my cousins last year. My uncle had a house up in Kerhonson, uh-huh. and uh, oh, my cousin David. Yo, Kerhonson is mad nice. Kerhonson is beautiful. Dude. Yo, we just Baxter, we just did a project, Scrivener's Lodge. Oh no, shit. Renovation. Oh no way. Yeah, dude. Beautiful, dude. Yeah, no, great part of the world. I got. Well, I do this. I do the social <laughs> media. Sorry, cutting you. I do the social oh, media for for Baxter. Oh, okay. So I got, we got mad fucking Scrivener pictures. Oh hell yeah. I was like, fuck is Kerhonson? Yeah, Kerhonson is gorgeous, bro. <laughs> That's Catskills. Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's probably like it's probably like an hour, hour from here, maybe yeah. hour and ten. But, so, um, so what you said? So my my cousin David had gone vegan the previous November. And I was like, yo, and my and his sister, my cousin Louise, was already vegetarian for like seven years or something like that. Okay. So I was just talking to him, and I was like, yo, like, what the fuck do you eat for breakfast, bro? Like, yeah. What do you eat? Because I like, I, I want a sausage, egg, and cheese in the morning, bro. Like, what do you have? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> bro, I want to take five again, mm-hmm. sausage, egg, and bro, egg, and cheese all day. Right? Salt, pepper, ketchup now. You know what I'm saying? And they were just like, yo, we eat like, you know, bagels toast and like peanut butter and stuff and I was like okay so I just I just realized that I wasn't I was thinking about it all the wrong way I was thinking about the it stereotypical like, yeah I was thinking like yo well, what am I what else am I gonna eat for breakfast other than bacon and eggs you know what I mean like yeah like I have to have salad and kale and fucking tofu <laughs> for the rest of my life and so uh <clears throat> I was literally talking to him for a few hours and I'm Irish, so traditional Easter, traditional Irish Easter yo, is land. Is I land, bro. I remember that being younger. You telling me that, yeah, bro. dude. I fucking remember that. Yo, I, I, I love telling people that because they're like, "Are you serious?" I'm like, like, "Yeah, bitch." Yeah, yeah yo, hold on. I'm actually you're Irish. a black Irishman right here. So, excuse me, excuse me, Irish. Hey, how are you? <laughs> but um, but yeah. So I literally like so leg of lamb is like Easter dinner traditionally in Ireland and like in like the UK yeah. and stuff and. uh and my lamb uncle, is big. Yeah, lamb is big. My, my, yeah, yeah, yeah. In Ireland and all of it over there. And um, my uncle, like, we've always had legs of lamb for Easter dinner since I was like eight years old. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and I got like my uncle gave me three slices, and I looked at it, and I was like, dude, I can't eat this. I was like, some dude was running on this like a month ago. <laughs> That's fucked up for me to do, bro. That's true. That's really fucked. Like. Especially because there's so much other shit I could eat. Yeah. And then I started doing the homework on it. And then when I started doing the homework, it was kind of wrapped for me. I was like, shit, man. Like, I should probably not. Yeah. You know, I don't need to. There's enough There's enough millions of people, like, involving themselves in this. I don't really need to be one of them anymore. Yeah. No, I hear you. And, man. like, so, so yeah. How's the transition, though? How did it- the transition was easy. Transition was mental, more than anything. I didn't, like, I find myself, like, craving burgers and, and like, bacon smells good and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But, like. You don't, like, think about, like, a fat steak with potatoes. Nah. Really? Nah, dude. Nah. Maybe. I don't think... I, dude, and honestly, like, I love steak. 
I was like a pork chop dude. I was fucking fried chicken all day, like chicken tenders, all that shit, man. And like, I know it tastes good, and I know it would still like, like in my mouth be good. But like mentally and like for like where I'm at as like a whole, I'm yeah. just like nah, I can't, I can't fuck with that okay. because like it's just like I don't know, man. I basically once I started doing the homework and saw the numbers on it, I was like, damn, this is this is a lot. It's fucked up. This is a lot, bro. Like it's numbers what? <laughs> but um. All right, so basically, the three, the three, the three animals people eat in the U.S. will say just as an as an example are pigs, cows, and chickens. For one of your three meals is gonna have one or more of those animals in it every day. That's trillions of fucking animals. Yeah. Every day, that are literally killed for no other reason yeah, yeah, than yeah. the fact that dudes like steak. You know what yeah. I mean? Like I want sausages. Like nah. Now bro. you don't like judge a person. If no, I no, no, no. Like, I, I don't give a shit, bro. Like, I fucking. I no, I'm sure steak. you love steak, bro. You live right here, bro. Like you like yo Millhouse steak now. Yeah. And like and yeah, you know, I've had burgers at Millhouse. My girlfriend used to work there back back a few years ago, but my ex girlfriend. But anyways. Um, no, I don't judge people that, that eat that eat meat or, you know what I mean, or not vegetarian, because I'm only vegetarian, you know what I mean? I'm not vegan, yeah. I'm not like, man, I'm going to save the world to vegan, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm not one of those yeah. diehard cats. But, like, yeah. if you sit down and do the, and do the math and, and read the facts, like, it's not going to make sense for you to do anymore. So I don't really tell anybody, like, you know what, you should really not do that. But it's also, like, you know why, you but, know why high cholesterol and heart disease are the biggest killers in the United States? Because yeah, we consume yeah, animal fats and we're not supposed to. Yeah. Exactly. Like our our saliva is genetic. We're genetically designed to break down proteins, not ca- not or I'm sorry, carbs, not proteins. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if we were carnivores naturally, we'd be able to run after a fucking squirrel and eat it with our bare hands and have claws and shit. Exactly. But we don't. You know what I mean? Exactly. So like if you if you sit there and like <clears throat> and like do the like I said, do the homework, you'll. I feel like most people will come to the same conclusion I came to. But I'm not gonna force my opinion down anybody's throat because I don't really give a fuck. You know, really, like, do you now? Do you feel like you have less energy? No, not at all. Yeah. I honestly feel like I have more energy because I have to. Right. Because I, one thing that one big thing for me when I when I first stopped eating meat was I hated cooking, but then I had to cook because all the all the quick shit to buy is fucking burgers, burgers or fries. Yeah, so I was like, nah, nah, fried nah. Shit. Yeah. So yeah, I was like, you know, let me buy vegetables. Let me get some potatoes yeah. in my life. Let me start chopping yeah. shit. You know what I mean? Like out here with beans. Like what? You know what I'm saying? And then when you look up like when you look up like vegan vegan like health and uh-huh. like vegan foods and like like because a lot of people a lot of people that eat meat and don't do the homework on veganism and shit like that are like well where are you gonna get your protein like you need mad protein bro like actually no you I don't you need don't mad need protein yeah, you don't you know we eat too much protein in general mm-hmm. but <clears throat> where are you gonna get your calcium excuse me and your protein and stuff like that it's like dude per hundred grams spinach has more calcium than milk. You know what I mean? Really? Yeah, spinach does. Fucking. Um, I'm a fucking trainer, and I don't know enough. See, I'll I'll be the first to say, as a trainer, as a personal trainer, as a group trainer. Yeah. I am, well, not only, but I'm almost like a fifth grader when it comes when it to comes like to nutrition, bro. nutrition. That's the thing, like, man. And you know, like I'm over here like sweating my ass off thinking of the next cool, <laughs> um, you know, workout session, Dude, I would the next cool workout program. Me, by the way. Yeah, bro, we gotta work out. I'm bro. totally down. Well, like, you know what I mean? Like, and then, like, I'm over here, like, fucking, and then I come back, and I go eat fucking take five, fucking, you know, yeah. <laughs> fucking bacon, egg, and cheese. Yeah. I'm like, wait, I'm a fucking retard. I just wasted it. Yeah, bro. You just literally, all that especially way. you, bro. <laughs> like, all the bacon and the fat and the grease yeah, and bro. shit. Like, you know, you, damn, bro, you better go back to, you better fucking eat that on the way to the workout. Like, right? start eating that on the Yo, way Yo, I realize, and, and even, like, my boss, like, I train my boss, right? Mm-hmm. And he, he even says, like, dude, yo, you, how do you you're a fucking animal when you work out but like dude you like you eat like candy you eat I'm an shit. idiot yeah, I'm no, an idiot I, I, bro, I, yo I'll be like the first shit. to talk shoot like before I stop at stop the studio eating, I work out at they're like when people ask me any questions I'm just like I even like subliminally make fun of myself because I subliminally like no like damn that's kind of bad that you do but like yeah. I make fun of myself so yeah, it's like yeah, yeah, it's yeah, stupid make light of it. yeah yeah I make light of it like yeah and they're like laugh but then they're probably like <laughs> they're like laughing with me they're like hold on a second they're like hold on a second that doesn't make any sense but it is, but like I need to like maybe you know this is this could fucking be my awakening like bro yo dude honestly like stop thinking you need meat bro girl. dude honestly like there was a I watched this I follow this dude on Instagram bro you should definitely check him out actually I'm about to show you him right now because he's 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 really really cool dude um he goes by the name of Chaka Bars okay I know what you're talking yeah. about black dude yeah yeah yeah, yeah bro bro <laughs> this dude literally yo he's still going bro he's Let me still see this guy. bro he's still going and. Look at it. Hold on. Where's the picture from before, bro? 
Dude, he has meal programs and shit. I was yeah. going to buy his program. Bro, look at this picture. Vegans on the left. Meat eaters on the right. Come on, son. Come on, son. No mo, but like, come on, son. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These yeah. dudes are jacked. Yo. These dudes are not. He did that on purpose. Of course he did. He's he did smart. that intentionally. Chocolate bars, yo. I fucking, Bro, you know, I fucking follow, follow him on Facebook. Dude, you I follow, follow him on Facebook, but he kind of stopped. Follow him on, nah, follow him on Instagram, bro. Instagram, he, he, he mu- blew up. Does he go heavy on the stories? He- heavy on the stories. All live, all like. He's mad real. The realest. One of the oh, so these are his clients? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, and then he'll, then he'll show you the food he's eating. Show you this. This dude is 100% raw vegan. He's yeah. eating fruits and all day. And he's jacked. And he's, he's jacked. And all he does is calisthenics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no yeah, way yeah. training at all. Well, that's why I do training. Why? That's it. Yeah, I mean, I, I may have like a 20-pound dumbbell. So yeah, that's but it. literally it's like no weights, nothing. And my man is jacked for no reason. Dude. Like, I see this dude and I'm like, yo, I need to he eat better. I need to eat better, bro. I just yeah. need to eat better. Yeah, dude. That's like, you know what I mean? This guy's story is bars. Shit. Yeah. No, I. that's funny because I seen this video... Wait, hold on. Is this the same guy? Wasn't there another guy that was mad short? I thought that was doing kind of the same thing. Okay, never mind. I don't think this is the guy, but fucking, he's a beast. Nah, you should really follow him, bro. He's super conscious, super just aware of sort of the bullshit and the fuckery that's out there. And very much, very much not trying to get people to believe that shit. Very much like, yo, yeah. let's wake up together as a group. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. The even... <laughs> So I thought, uh, never mind, because I thought I was following that guy. I think I was following somebody else that's kind of doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. But he was, it was a video of him on Facebook going into a a grocery store. And he was like, (laughs) he had like a pineapple mass small. He's like, this ain't a pineapple. (laughs) He was like, the shit just like, he had like small ass watermelon. He's just showing about like, yo, like they're literally genetically making your fruit now. Bro, bro. I'm like bugging out like, every time I go to shopper, I'm like, nope. Bro, I went to Adams. Go to Adams. <laughs> like, Bro, I went to Adams. Adams. I went to Adams a few weeks ago. I went to Adams. Give me maybe February. I went to Adams, right? Mm. Went to Adams. They had whole and sliced seedless watermelon, and I took a picture of it and I posted it on Instagram. I said, "What is wrong with this picture?" <laughs> Motherfucking fruits are supposed to have seeds, bro. Like that's not right. That means a dude. And yo, when you know Adam, when you know Adams is even fucking. That's sad. what I'm saying. Yo, they're fucking. Hold on a second. That's what I'm saying, bro. I was like, when dude. you know Adams is even fucking going wrong along with it. It's like, damn. Yeah, like they're everywhere. It's like, yo, I thought Adams was the fairy of the farm. Yeah, then and then and then and then. Like, come on. Like, what are you I grew doing up with, to me? I grew up with this shit, yo. Yeah, it's the fuck. Now it's all like, sus. It, that's, yo, why, that's why I'm trying to. It's that's crazy. Why I'm to the garden. It's crazy that you say that. That's we'll fucking get into that. But yo, it's crazy because my girl, me, I, we cook steak mm-hmm. from Adams, and we won't go to Hannaford's. We won't go to shop right because we just have home something. All right, we'll go fucking. We'll go to Adams. You know, yo, dude. I follow. I mean, I follow this one person on YouTube. So like, I, I cooked it right. Everything was normal. Everything, was, dude. Mm-hmm. Yo, she got mad sick. Yeah. From the steak, bro. And well, like I steak? cook, yo, I dude, I'm I'm money man. Eight minutes, bro. Five, you know, four, eight four on one side. Four, dude, I follow the YouTube channel. My man got like millions of subscribers. He knows what he's yeah, doing. I fucking, he's cooking. I yeah, he's he cooked. Cooks, he cooks, man. I fucking literally watched. I stopped the video thirty fucking times. Wait, 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 wait. He <laughs> yeah. added butter right there. He got yeah. over. He got over. <laughs> wait, hold on. He saute the onions. I gotta take it out. Oh, I gotta take it out. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, start over. <laughs> okay, I gotta saute the pan. Okay, I get it. I'm over here, but <laughs> this whole time I've been putting onions in with garlic the whole time, and then throwing the steak in. I get, but anyways. <laughs> Yo, like, so I did that, mm-hmm. and yo, it was, it tasted great. Yeah. Now, I cooked five pieces, yeah. I guess she had a bad piece, whatever it was, but then I started looking into it, I'm like, yo, no matter what, you can just get God and just get bad pieces of steak. You could have fucking, sh- Emerald Lagasse bang the fucking shit out of that, and you could get sick. Yeah. So it's like, holy shit. Bro. And it's crazy that you say that, because now I think about it, like, yo, that's, bro, that's, I mean, that's, that, that's re- fucking scary. I, what I... I came to like an epiphany when I was sort of doing this like homework on food and like the only reason why people started eating meat was because um, dogs, animals, animals ate meat to survive and they were like, yo, how the fuck are we going to survive? Well, this, this bear's fucking dog is eating a deer right now. Let me bite the leg of this deer, bro. <laughs> that's crazy. You know what I mean? And yeah, that's how it's evolution- crazy. Evolutionarily, before we started... Before we started farming, we were hunter gatherers, and we just copied the animals. Oh, you are you a hunter gatherer? 
Yeah, bro. Like, what? <laughs> that Dave Chappelle shit? Which one? Which one? Where, oh. The old school shit where, where he... Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I was like, yo, you don't know Dave Chappelle. I was like, yo, you, you missed yo, that? I'm you sorry, missed that? I'm yo, sorry, yo, damn. I'm sorry. No, he's like, goes, what's, he's like oh, what's your name? He's like, oh, uh, he's like, I'm Hunts with Wolves. Or <laughs> he's, like, yeah, no. he's like, oh, what's your name? He's like... I can't say Dave. <laughs> he's uh, like, oh, Blackfoot. <laughs> he's like, oh, 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 I'm black. He's like, oh, I used to study you in social studies. <laughs> he's like, oh, you a hunter gatherer. You a hunter gatherer. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's that's what we were. Yeah, yeah no, exactly. It was beans. It was fucking fruits. It was fucking. Yeah. It was it was it was fucking leaves. It was mm-hmm. it was you know. It may have been. I mean, I don't know the histor- the historical, no, but I know that that's what we were. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. Hunter gatherers until we started farming. Yeah, man. There's this there's a show you should check out. Uh, National Geographic did like a an entire story called Humans, the history of us, mm-hmm. and it started with like Africa, and then it showed like oh the first people walked towards the yeah. sun, and they would go east, and then other people exactly. walked away from the sun, and then but they went up to like like the civil rights movement, like from like oh, shit. yeah, bro. Now what do you now what do you think about like the evolution chain not not like the whole what do you believe in Bull, like not bullshit but that whole because you could make a fucking yeah that could be a whole and, that could be a different you whole can make a series of hit yeah, yeah. but like evolutionary do you, you just think you think like we just we developed from 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 a from a different species or do you think we've developed through the uh, big bang and fucking uh, you think we just our I brains got bigger, our cranium got bigger, know, man. Meaning, I meaning our of, brains could grow bigger. We have a lot of weird. I don't. I don't have a We're solid. Starting. I don't have a solid answer for that. You know, I have a lot of theories that I sort of go back and forth with. Okay, because like I love. I, I mean, I went to, when I went to college. Like I took a one class. I had to fucking take it. It was a bullshit anthropology class. But no anthropology. bullshit. Anthropology. Anthropology. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> no joke though. I'm not lying. Like I learned. I. I liked to go to that class. Dude, I would love that. Class. And at the end of the class, yo, at the end of class, yo, the teacher was the most boring fucking tr- teacher I've ever fucking seen in my life. But at the end, yo, she asked the coolest question. That's she said, dope. literally said, any questions at the end. Like, yo, her literally, like, no one would go to her class. It was fucking like boring as shit, dry man. as shit. Like yeah, yo, yeah. the best was she played videos. Like that was great. You know, yeah. it was such a joke. It's like wow. It's like I could have taken the class in high school. This is a joke. I can't believe yeah. this is a crew of college is a scam. They just want your money. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> like fact. <laughs> like she at the end is like, so do you care on what I believe in? And mm. I'm like. This is the last fucking day of class. Yeah, that's like, a good question. Dude. May fucking yo, college usually ends between you know May May seventeenth for college. Yeah. Like, it's like May fifth. Yeah. <laughs> like yo, the last day of school is next. Like the last dude, the first day. So of, anyone oh, my personal? Life, yeah, the know? first day of fucking the first day of um of, of finals is the next day. Okay, like, that's okay. it's it. It's yeah, the last, yeah, it's the last class. class ever. And she goes, she goes. So do you guys care what I believe in? Yo, I literally. That's when I was like, I could throw my hand out faster, like because I always thought like, yo, does she believe in God? Does she? Believe? I go. So do you, is God real? Yo, mm-hmm. people are like, <laughs> that you was the most the action. Word, bro? Yo, you just drop a hard. Yo, that G? was the most action. The whole damn class hall all semester. <laughs> like, what? Yeah, <laughs> that ass. Like, is God real? And she goes, No, God is not real. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I grew up. She's like, I grew up Catholic. I grew up Roman Catholic. Fucking yeah. you and me. Like, it's just like the way she's the way she explained herself. We won't go in it, but it's just like. I was like, yo, that day, it's like I canceled all my plans and just sat in my room. I was just like, this guy. <laughs> just with my hand on my fucking chin, like, hmm. OD thinking, man, like, yo, what? Dude, did she drop the egg and knowledge? She, yeah, she like. The egg and knowledge on your face? Cause she would, and then she goes on to explain, like. Her opinion. Her opinion. And then, like, in that class, to talk about, like, at one point, yo, there was, like, four different human beings yeah, in the world. Six, like, yeah. there was, like, but they were all at the same and then time. Homo sapiens, yeah. Homo sapiens, but they were learning from kind of from each other. Like, mm-hmm. They would cross paths and like you know fuck each other, and yeah. then, like it just kept going. And yeah, they would yeah. gather, and then they would go, yeah. and then you know some people didn't like each other, so they fucking batted them over the head with you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah, of course, that's that was real life where they were animals. Yeah, kind exactly. Of. I mean, and, yeah, you know, and then they started. You know, everybody started fucking Count each other. Man, everybody yeah. started tra- having sex, and the sex pool started getting yep. <laughs> more diverse genes and everything. And then, like, she went in to describe how, like, we humans are the fucking evolutionary pyramid. Like, 
where we are right now is the we're the evolutionary like we're the most sophisticated fucking machines on the planet on the planet and beyond the universe like she mm-hmm. she was like she was a genius bro she was brilliant and like she could fuck she explained that shit in like three minutes so I was like god damn like the way her like, oh okay <laughs> <laughs> I was like oh so you were waiting for that question yeah, 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 that right. like, yo she you know and it's it, it's the and it, I love it too I love it because it's a never ending it's a never ending question cause, mm-hmm. yeah I mean you yeah, know dude, I have a lot of interesting interesting opinions on on the whole where did we come from thing and yeah man it's like I mean it's a, it's the type of question that you kind of have to have I feel like I feel like you should probably have a few working theories. Yeah, you know, what I mean? yeah, like, it's like, you're like well, you know, it it, if we evolved from monkeys, why is there still monkeys? Yeah, you it, know what I mean, if exactly. we didn't evolve from monkeys, what did we come from? Exactly. Are we just some like science experiment that aliens came up with, bro? <laughs> like they gene splice a chimp and, and their own like Anunnaki like, shit, bro? Like cats don't even know. Like even not even getting into the alien thing, like but like, dude, there's human somewhere else. Of course there are. There there's, there's intelligent life elsewhere. Yeah, but like. <laughs> Like, Yo, irrefutably. We're, there's irrefutably. Like, like, if it's you, like, if you yes, there's billions there, and millions of galaxies, but we're the, we're the, the only smartest people. thing there. I <laughs> promise you. That's the most arrogant we're, thing. Yeah, that's there, the bro. most stupid thing. Like, you are so self centered. <laughs> yes. Like, you know what, dude? You know, humans, I personally know a lot of humans, and I think we're the best. So, everywhere, you know, it's probably there's, just the best. Humans. There's nobody else out there. If there's anyone else, they're exactly like me, but I'm better than them. Yo, like, I, I like the idea of the expanding theory. Yeah, I love the idea that like you know we keep getting bigger, and it's uh, proof. We keep we do keep stretching. The world, keep, the world, the universe keeps expanding. It's proof. The cut the 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 outer layer shell of the fucking what, however big this the world, yeah, the no, universe it's just is, bigger. it's just getting it's bigger. It's just getting larger, more. But bigger. um, yeah, dude, I, that's that. Say that for another vlog, bro. Yeah, no, that's definitely that's a definitely that's a different story. <laughs> we'll have more blunts. It'll be crazy. <laughs> It'll be like you ever watch you ever watch <laughs> you ever watch fucking um oh shit you ever watch Ancient Aliens with Action yeah. Bronson on Viceland? Oh no no bro no, was... oh, bro you, you know the channel of Viceland? Yeah, bro Bronson used to have a show where he would just get smacked on a couch with a green screen behind him and just watch Ancient Aliens with his boys, and in the middle of it he would just pause and be like he'd be like with Alchemist and shit and be like yo Al. You believe that shit, bro? And <laughs> just sit back and dudes like ripping wax and shit, dude. ordering mad fucking food. Like dudes would come through catering, like <laughs> bros would come through catering, bringing like his... fucking ramen noodles to everybody. Like yo, his story is dope. Yo, Bronson, Bronson, Bronson is one of the. He's probably my favorite rapper to come out in the last like ten years. Yo, he. He's... I'm saying till since 2007, he's my favorite rapper to come out in the last seven years easily. Easily now moving like moving to, moving to to music and and like dude I'm I'll I'll tell you I'll tell you right now like as from a music theory dude uh-huh. I I've been listening to K one hundred four since I was you know what I'm saying oh my goodness. so like I didn't what understand the fuck is going on yeah I I I didn't even you know I didn't even like. Yeah. All I listened to was whether it got me hyped up for a sports game. You know, I was yeah, the athlete. Yeah, yeah. You know me. I was the type of fucking job. Yeah, you were the... You I was the, the fucking... You were the student athlete. Yeah, bro. I was the... You were the student athlete. A's and B's and fucking sports. <laughs> Two sports a year. Right? <laughs> exactly. Three. Three. Damn, bro. Three sports Baseball, a year. Baseball, soccer, base, basketball, soccer, baseball, football. Damn, you know? boy. What do well, you play football? Tight end or something? Football, no. Football, like, football, like, what's your feet? Football. 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 But, um, like, yo, so, like, musically, I developed through my best friend... Okay. Um, who, who's actually a rapper, artist now? Oh, dope. He's fucking. I mean, dope. where's he, he at? A bunch is he of, in the he's, area? He's he's in the area, but he's at college. He's one of my best friends. He that's, actually goes. That's his name's Esty Laveau. His name's Est- Esteban. Okay. He's, like, oh, he's actually my girlfriend's cousin. Oh, dope. So that's why I met her. That's dope. Um, um, I would definitely like to meet that. Dude. Yeah, that's my. Oh yeah, bro. Like yo, the way you the way you rap is kind of how he 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 develops his story and how he how he flows. It's, it's, that's dope. It's old school. That's dope. I, I love, feel like I your flow is old school, bro. Hell yeah, bro. You know, like how it like, but like, I where did you get? Your where did you get your um, oh, my influences? Yeah, like uh, influences. basically the first the first bit of rap I ever listened to, the very first bit of hip hop I think I ever listened to, that like when I intentionally knew it was hip hop, when I knew it was rap music, I listened to uh, I stole my sister's copy of the Eminem show. Okay, I took that off of her. She had like a she had like a mantelpiece in her room and she was gone. I was like swipe, and I took that shit and I fucking listened to it for like a day and then I like slipped it back in her room and she was gone again. Yeah, yeah. It was just your age? No, nah, my sister, my sister's 70 years older than me. Okay. My sister's 33 now, or she's about to be 33 in June. Okay. And, uh, what do you call it? Basically, like, Eminem and Tupac were the first dudes I ever listened to because it was, 
like Eminem, the Eminem show came out, I don't remember what year, I think I was in like fifth grade, and that, uh, and then it was the same, it was the same time as like the, the whole like LimeWire, Kazaa era, yeah, where you yeah, could yeah. just like download yeah, yeah, everything. Oh, <laughs> LimeWire, the green shit? Yeah, bro, you had your computer, all the viruses <laughs> and shit. Bro, so like, I just started downloading artists, I started downloading like Tupac, I listened to radio, and I hear like, oh, Ja Rule and Ashanti song, and just download Mad Ja Rule and Ashanti, and just, Yo, just download Mad of random, era, Ludacris, fucking... Okay. Mad, just mad everybody, bro. And then I would that ass when I went to Holy Trinity, bro. I would literally like seventh grade was when I first sixth seventh grade when I first started listening to rap because I got like a CD player and I could like bring CDs with me to school and listen to them on the bus. Mm. And I would just sit there and listen to fucking uh, to uh, All Eyes on Me, Tupac's All Eyes on Me, or the or the greatest the greatest hits album actually used to make me cry because there was mad songs that I never heard on that shit. And I was like, so Tupac. This is crazy, yeah, bro. Tupac and Eminem were are the best storytellers hip hop's ever seen, yeah, and Tupac definitively has he 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 makes he he has a song for every human emotion, okay. every single human emotion I've felt listening to his music. Yeah. Like I've cried, I've laughed, I've been angry. I'm like, oh fuck this nigga up right now, bro. <laughs> I will kill you, son. <laughs> I will kill you, dog. Like. It like just the cra- like all sides of humanity. <laughs> Tupac is just like, yeah, hey, I'll write a song about that, bro. I got you. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, he was a monster. Bro, his story is dope as fuck. His like, story is amazing, bro. Hilarious. How like amazing. yo, he started. He tried to be a gang banger, but he was the worst gang. Like he was the worst drug dealer ever. Like wow. his boy was like, don't ever sell drugs. Don't ever do anything. He's like, here, just fix this music shit. I got it's you. Rap, bro. Yo, he was, a, <laughs> he was an actor first. Yeah, bro. Like yo, and you know what's crazy? People like. Yeah, when he was younger, people would be like, "Yo, you're a faggot. Like you're gay as fuck." Yeah, bro. Because he was mad artistic. He was mad artistic. And he ballet was like, and shit, "Ballet, bro. And yeah." Was like, you're a faggot, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. Really, like, nigga? Really? This like, dude got like shot shit. more than anyone you know. <laughs> like, shut the fuck like, up, bro. He's like, "Yo, fuck it." He's over here, like, "Fuck, it. what's his name?" Jesus Christ. Not Machiavelli. Well, he was obsessed with Machiavelli. He was obsessed with Machiavelli. But um, just like just art in general, yeah, art bro. in general, performance art. Like he loved theater. Oh, like, he yeah. loved fucking. He went to uh, the Godfather. Like that he went shit. To, what was do you call it? He went to the, art. He went to basically the no, Juilliard art of the Juilliard in, in, Oh, okay. Yeah, it's in, it's in Baltimore. Okay. It's in Baltimore. I knew he did go to fucking. Yeah, he went to acting school and then uh, and then he started rapping in the city. In yo, New Juice York. is the shit. Dude, Juice is a great movie, bro. Such a great movie. You can watch that. Yo, when they put that shit, they used to put that shit on Fuse like, all the oh, time. Oh, yo. yo it's, like, so it's like Juice had like the contract with Fuse. Like, yo, play this shit. Yeah, play this shit. Saturday, Saturday, yeah, Saturday, right? Monday, like, like, I need three Saturdays a month. <laughs> yo, so that's where you got your... Yeah, that's where I got my first taste of hip-hop was, was, uh, was Pac and Eminem, definitely. On the bus, especially, because I would, I would deadass going to school and coming from school, I would just... Especially in like seventh, eighth grade, because I didn't have any like friends on the bus. Like, like there's this one dude on my bus, and we lived in we lived in Pleasant Valley together, so we'd be on the bus together the longest. But I just fucking I I didn't hate him, but I just really like we were at that. It was like, we were young, and we just this dude made fun of me, I made fun of this dude, and I didn't fucking like him. He didn't fucking like me. You know what I mean? So like I was just like headphones in, like I'm a grill this nigga if he looks at me. But otherwise, I'm just like in Tupac world, like shit, yeah, yeah, everybody. Yeah. And fucking yeah, you did have that vibe about you, like you had a chip on your shoulder. Really? Yeah. That's wild. Yeah, you did kind of. That's too funny, though. I never knew that. Yeah, you kind of did. I always thought myself as sort of a laid-back cat, but I probably got no, you laid were back late. later. You were late. Nah, yeah. You, well, I was, you, you left. Yeah, I, well. I, I, great. I, yeah, yeah. Well, I, no, I left. Yeah, you left. I stayed there till yeah, eight, you eight, stayed bro. There. I stayed there. I know where you went. Where'd you go? I went to public. Oh, what's the public? You lived in you lived in Wappinger, so you went to the Wappinger. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 that's why I went to catch him. Okay. Yo, I remember Sean Rowe being like, "Yo, everything's different now." In sixth grade, like, cause I was like, <laughs> no, like, man, everything's different. Everything's now. different. Now. We got different. We're lunches. in this utopians, so, like we're in this little tiny ass world of Holy Trinity. We got like, different lunches now, bro. Yo, be like, we're, yo, we're not even. But fucking. Damn, really? that's crazy. I can't believe I was chipping my shoulder back in the day. You got, I, felt, I felt like you did. But you were I might. Like, I'm not. I might. I mean, the thing with it is, is I was cool. I never chilled with you. I was cool to mad dudes in school, but then, but then I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I was that little kid who got cool off the backs of other kids. Yeah. So I, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's fucked up. Yeah. But it's like... It's a chain, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a food yeah, chain. Yeah. So I'd be like, oh, this dude's a bitch. But you, my niggas, it was good. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so people would feel cooler because I would make fun of other people in front of them. I, I, was, a, yo, I was a dick back then, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, you had that sarcastic vibe because yeah, you were too I, smart. Yeah, I was. You I were was a smart motherfucker. Smart back back then, I remember bro. that. Yeah, you were a smart motherfucker. I was smart, but I was smart in the way of like... You were academic I'm, smart. I'm just going to like... I'm just going to like... <laughs> I'm fucking... 
I'm chilling, bro. Chilling. I was not academic smart, though. I don't know about that for I don't know. I, I mean, I probably just assumed you were because your mom was a teacher. And I was like, oh, they're clearly smart at that house. <laughs> like, they do homework, you know what I mean? Because like, that was the one thing I avoided, like, the plague. I was like, homework. Yeah, I did that shit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, for, so musically wise, like, you, you, you took from. Musically, the first dudes I really took from were. When did you start going? Pac and Eminem. Uh, when did I first like start writing? When did you start writing and, and rapping? Like, when did uh, you start bro, recording? I, I, like, when was the first time you explained First time I thing? recorded? Alright, yo. Alright, alright. This got crazy, yo. First time I recorded yeah. was in 10th grade. Uh, I had this English teacher named Mr. Kamaj. He was the fucking man. Mm-hmm. He fucking. Uh, he was also a gym teacher at Lord's. So, like, we'd play basketball and then we'd have English class or, like, vice versa. Super big chip. And he had us do this project where we had to, like, I don't, I honestly don't remember this, don't remember the, the outline of the project. I think it was something like you had to find a piece of art that, like, correlated to something that had to do with this book, Speak, we just read. Okay. And, and my boy Taylor also had Mr. Kamaj, but we had different classes, but we had the same teacher. So we were like, okay. yo, could we be in a, could we do a group project if we're in different classes? And Kamaj was super big chill. Like I said, he was a G. He was like, yeah, bro, no worries. Like, that's cool, no problem. Uh-huh. So my boy Taylor also rapped, yeah. right? And his dad worked. How old are you? Uh, I'm 26 now. So, okay. so um, yeah, we were 91 babies. And uh, what do you call it? So Taylor had this dude, Mr. Kamaj, as well, different, in a different English class than I had. I think I had it, like, maybe third period. He might have had it, like, sixth period or some shit. Yeah. Anyways, he's like, "Yo, can we do a group project for different classes?" Kamaj is like, "Yeah, that's straight." And and Taylor was like, "Yo, can we write a song instead of find a song to okay. do?" Because he rapped at the time and I rapped at the time and we rapped together. And you were already writing. Yeah, we. I was already writing. I, at this point, okay. I, I was writing in eighth grade. I, I mean, honestly, I was writing poetry when I was like six, bro. Like, I, I'll tell you that story after, but. Um, the first the first time we got to record, we wrote this song called what was it? It was basically if you ever read the book Speak, have you ever read that? I heard of it. Yeah, it's about this girl who gets like sexually assaulted and high school. School. Yeah, they made a movie about it as well on Lifetime or some shit. And um, <laughs> nah, I really mean it was on Lifetime. Like I think I watched it on Lifetime. Are they even a network anymore? I think so, bro. They just make sad movies about poor so bad women ready? and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yo, yo not to disrespect. Yeah, yeah, not to yo, disrespect you know Lifetime. Yo, not to disrespect <laughs> Lifetime. But there was a you niche know, market of like miserable, miserable older women. In the world. Yeah, and I feel like Suburbia. they have like a wine Suburbia. branding or something. Suburbia. They probably got Lifetime yeah. wine, bro. Yo, do you want wine? Do you want Lifetime wine? <laughs> Lifetime. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? There's your plug, Lifetime. Use Yo, that shit. That's Anyways, crazy. So, um, so you were... So, so the yeah, class so, happens. So, so the, the project. class happens. The project happens. We're like... It's the song... And you go, wait, in front of the, you go in front of the class. Hold on. No, no, no. Wait before that. My dude's dad <laughs> worked for WRV, right? <gasps> he was... He worked, he worked for like... um He worked for WRV. He was like in advertising or something, right? Okay. So Taylor was like, Yo, I'm going to ask my dad if we can record a song at the radio station. Right? Okay. So we write our song or whatever, and we go to the radio station, and we get to record there. We found a beat online. My boy found a beat online or whatever. We write to it. The song's called Feelings of Loneliness or Being Feeling About Lonely because the girl felt mad lonely in the book and shit. We were trying to like make that about it. Yeah, yeah. And so we both write a verse. We both record it. And then, um, and then Taylor got to present the song in his class. Okay. It, it worked out for me because since we were one group, we didn't both have to present. And I was like, word. Taylor wants to present it. He had the CD already because his pops burned the CD after we recorded it at the mm-hmm. at the spot. So then we got. I didn't have to. I didn't have to actually like sing it or perform it or anything like that. Yeah. But Mr. Kamaj got to hear it, and the first song I ever recorded was on like Pendleton Academy, uh, Pendleton Road next to Duchess, like in that wow. in that spot. I was so like and then you started writing, and you always knew you wanted to rap. Basically, yeah. I mean, when I was yeah, when when I was in second grade, and I lived in Which Brooklyn, and I met, and I had this teacher named Steve Wilson, right? Steve cool. Wilson was the fucking man. Yeah. I remember his name because he was like just a pivotal dude in my life. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. he tried to teach us. Remember, like the North South East West shit. He'd yeah. be like, never eat shredded wheat. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. He'd be like, Steve Wilson needs eggs. And I was like, <laughs> oh shit, Steve Wilson's a G. Like, and I'm dead ass to remember that dude for twenty years. That's all. You always had those influential people, like, like yeah, throughout your life. Yeah, there will always be that person that 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 Ooh. that will be the the not the deciding factor of whether you're successful or not, but just the the, the, the memory. Yeah, the yeah. cat. 
the helper, the one that fucking pushes you and yeah, fucking yeah, like. Let me show you what you can do. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. Oh, shit, thanks, dude. Exactly. And, and yeah. I, dude, I I feel that as well with fucking coaching soccer, but dude, that's, that's beside itself awesome. because you got twenty kids, you can affect someone's life. Hell yeah, so, through so well soccer yeah. because sports, not only music, of course, but sports is like characteristic. But we're getting yeah, to yeah, me. self esteem, so, confidence when you, building, all of that. When you so Steve Wilson basically got us all into Steve poetry. Wilson. So he got us all into poetry. Okay, gotcha. And I so like, he was the one introducing you. He's to books, the one that the, the introduced me into writing. To, okay, right. Into creative writing and and books. Like he showed us like Falling Up by Shel Silverstein and like right. all those little like rhyming poems. Yeah. I was like, yo, this is cool, man. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. This shit rhymes. It sounds good. Yeah. Like when you read it, there's a rhythm, so you kind of know yeah. that what the rhyme is gonna be like. Like like Dr. Seuss as well. Like I was a big Dr. Seuss kid, so I loved like rhymes and little like. You know, little, yeah. like, cool shits like that. And uh, so, and he had us all, he had the whole class, like, write a poem. They wanted us all to write poems. The two second grade classes in my school got together. There was, like, 60 kids. And they were like, yo, the teachers it's said. It's crazy to remember this. Dude, the teachers were like, this was, like, pivotal yeah. shit. You can, like, uh, What's wrong with that? A little um, bit. Yo, you want wine, though? That ass? Oh, it's serious. I got wine, bro. Oh, bro. I drink wine. Uh, I do drink wine, but I'm not going to drink wine right now because I got to drive later. Yeah, that's stupid shit. Um, but this dude, Steve, man, yeah, I'll take a bottle. This dude, Steve, basically, and got together, he got together with the other second grade teacher in the school, and they had the two classes write poems, and pick their favorite, like, write as many poems as you want, and then pick your favorite ones, and then we're gonna put the ones that you, that you pick in a book, and we're all gonna, all the two second grade classes are gonna make a book of poetry. Mm-hmm. Right, and then we're gonna have poetry night, and all the parents are gonna come in. You're gonna read your poems to the parents. That's dope, bro. That shit got me gassed because I asked him. I was like, "Yo, what do I write about?" And he was like, "You can write about anything." And I was like, "What? Like, I get to choose what I write about. Like, I get to make this up." Mm-hmm. I was. I felt like I couldn't do it wrong. And with that confidence, I was just like, "Yo, I'm writing everything." You know what I mean? Because when, when like when you get when you feel like you can't do something wrong, you do it perfectly. Of course. You know what I mean? It's like it's like when you feel like you know what I mean. Of course. As soon as you feel like you can't do something, is usually when you do it. Absolutely. But like when you feel like you can do something, you know that's why riding a bike is like riding a bike because you already know you can ride a bike. Exactly. You know what I mean? So like I got into writing, and that and then I stopped writing after second grade because we moved up to Poughkeepsie and then there was no like influence like that. I played exactly. basketball. I got into exactly. like sports. I got into like meeting other kids through sports and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And so. I, writing kind of went into the backseat until I found rap and then rap was I was like yo I could do shit like this like yeah. I listen to this and I just I can rhyme fun with gun like I know how to do that yeah, yeah. let me write crazy shit yeah. and then I started listening to even more like conscious hip hop and yeah, my yeah. boys turned me on to atmosphere yeah, in yeah. high school and atmosphere was sort of to me atmosphere was like this is a successful dude speaking the way you would prefer to speak in rhymes because it's not bullshit. Like, I, I don't have guns. I don't pack nines. I don't sell crack. But you're a you know what I mean? But, but you have a different story. That's, but I have a very different story and it's, exactly. I have a very interesting perspective on the same shit that y'all see. You exactly. know what I mean? It's funny you say that. Like, how do you feel about the hip-hop now? The shit that everybody listens to, the garbage. What do you feel about that? I feel, I have mixed reviews. You know what I mean? Part of me is really, part of me is really upset because it's it's trash, bro. It's trash. It's like, trash. Zinna, it's zinna, trash. Zinna, 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 ah, zinna, zinna, yeah, zinna, yeah. ah. Like, yeah, dude, yeah, dudes yeah. just like the beats to that, and that's exactly. cool. But I would, I wish people said I like the beat instead of this is really great rap because this is shitty rap. This isn't rap, bro. That's why I call it mumble rap. It's, it's, it's bro. Bro. yeah, bro. It's fucking happy it's meal crap it's shit, it's bro. Shit. But like, but what I do appreciate about it is it's like disco. And disco, everybody loved disco for two seconds, and as soon as disco was done, they fucking hated it. <laughs> but mad people used disco to make new kinds of music going forward. Like so like producers, so it's branch. exactly, it could be it's it another could be a branch, different branch, but it's it, another branch yeah. that people can then build off and create something hopefully amazing off of. Like it's still art, you know what I mean? And I can't knock anybody who's like, <laughs> like I can't knock the Chief Keefs and the and the Lil Yachty's and the Lil Uzi Verts who are literally just. Speaking some shit and making money and not out selling drugs and you know what I mean no. shooting dudes and being mad fucked. <laughs> you know what I mean like. Yo, no, no, do what you gotta do. And I, you know, I'm grateful for cats like that, for in that, in that light, because I know that like in ten years, people are gonna be sampling those artists 
and making crazier shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like jazz was fire, but then someone sampled it and made hip hop. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> hip hop like, was even, fire. You know what's that's I mean, as a kid I wanted to be a fucking uh, a social studies teacher and a fucking high school soccer coach. That's, that's literally what I fucking awesome. That was it. That's, that's all such I a fucking cool knew. Dream, <laughs> that's, it's a great dream, but it's just like so small. Because at the time, yeah. you think yeah. small. Like that's just your goals at a young age. You would never be like, I'm gonna be a fucking millionaire. I mean, you just you just think like I guess your parents would. I guess, but the you know how how soccer you know not only changed my life and and, and made me think out of the box. Just like music did for you, like. Uh-huh. You know, music fucking, in a historical standpoint, fucking, yo, jazz was everything. Like, peop- like the rock, like rock music took from, like, Southern jazz and, like, yeah, Southern black, yeah. like African American, and, yeah. like, took the, took, like, yeah, I mean, took their beat. Yeah, rock was Literally. started by black people, bro. Exactly. People fucking forget that. Yeah, like, people think Elvis is the that, king, like, of black, uh, king of rock. You would go to, like, the South and the white, dumb American, literally. Bro, like, yeah, nah. They all, you'll hear people like, what do black people do? Like, yo, you, Bro, are you serious? Like, I saw, yo, I saw this video and it was like, it was on like college humor or whatever. It was uh, it's completely sarcastic, obviously. But like, you know how some people are like, oh, like black people gotta go back to Africa. Right, right, yeah, right. Well, yo, so this video, this video was just like, okay, we're gonna leave, but we're gonna take all of our shit with us. Yeah. And so they were like, we're gonna take uh, jazz and rock and yeah. hip hop and dance <laughs> music and like, we're gonna take seasonings and fried chicken and mad food. Mad, so much people for like people. When I say people, I mean like quote unquote average American. Yeah. Forget so much yeah. how heavily influenced the culture of America is by the immigrants that came to this country or the slaves that were forcibly brought to this country. Yeah. And so people would be like, nah, nah, this is America. Yeah, but America's actually yeah. made up of a lot of motherfuckers that are not what you would deem American. Of course. So, yeah. But that's, I feel like we talk about that any other fucking time. Bro. Of that course. It's a whole crazy. So, with music, music going forward, right? What are you trying to do with your music or Like, what are you trying to get? What are you trying to do with it? What is uh, your goals? Do you have goals with it? Like, what yeah, you- absolutely, bro. Absolutely, I got some goals. I want to... Uh, I mean, I have, like, personal goals more so than, yeah. like, professional goals. Like, I'm not the type of dude that's like, man, I want to sell a million records. Mm-hmm. That would be fucking cool. That would be dope. That would be, like, icing on the cake, you know what I mean? Of course. I ideally... I just want to talk to people, bro. Of course. I want to. I want to. I love this that we're having. Like, I like this. I like this communal shit. Yeah, man. And I love being on stage. Like I, I, I get to host these events on, yeah. for on the at the art gallery, and I like to talk to people. Yeah, but you're with fucking my, with my hand, bro. You know what I'm saying? I I, and and I love to convey the truths that I've picked up to people in a way that's appealing to them. Because like I fucking hated school. School was boring as shit. Yeah. It was terrible. It was monotonous. It was it was it was mundane. It was just like man, eh, like the same drudgery every day. And so what did my eyes do? Fucking wrote rhymes or looked out the window. Be- yeah. But when 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 you hear some of the songs that like I could show you some songs, bro, that are just drop crazy knowledge on my face. And the reason why I dropped the knowledge is because it was appealing in the packaging. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Yeah, I absolutely. want to change the world in a positive way through an appealing package, and that is the. How, do you want to? Do you want to change that? That's amazing. But like, do you want to? You should change that, and you should, um, you know, bring that out in a video, yeah. in a video way. This is the world for everybody. This is the world now, right? Yeah, no, you're right. Not only audio, of course. It's all audio visual. Yeah, of course. Right, of course. How do you do that in a video way? You know. Because that's the next step. That I feel like I mean, concerts, you getting your message out. I mean, you, concerts is what, of course, especially for an artist. Yeah, influencers, uh, like what I'm, do, like what I'm trying yeah, to do. This here. right now is exactly. another really great way. I would love, bro. I would love to be on, do this of this fucking podcast, podcast as fucking. many times as yeah, you bro. want, bro. Like get more dudes in here if you want to yeah, have dude. discussions on that's shit. That's what I'm saying. I'm about, bro. Like I'm, bro, dead ass. Like, I'm so down let me so because I, because let, people I, nowadays have like a kind of my, my bad. I just I gotta people no, nowadays I'm here. Have like a have like a. They have a, 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 a oh my god, that's just crazy. They have a, people have a perception of 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 I don't know. I guess my demographic, however people would view me, as an artist, as a as a male, as a minority, as a you know what I mean. It's the perspective as, of somebody else looking at you. Exactly. Sorry. No, no, you're fine. 
but like I would love to throw my two cents into whatever conversation as long as it was like relevant to me. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. So that would be great. But ideally, I would love to get my music out there, get the message. Thank you. Get the message that you know we're a lot more alike than we are different. Of course. And and the message that like people have to start noticing the shit that's in front of their faces, bro. Because the dudes are doing, dudes are playing games. You know what I mean? Dudes are playing games, and nobody's nobody. They get you with the distractions, yo. Of course, they get you with the distractions. The distraction. the distraction after distraction. I'm saying like why? these spinner shits with these kids. Wait, you see that shit? What shit? Oh fuck. What's we'll that? talk about that later. But let's use like so. What you're trying to do, what you stand for as a person, as your. I think everything in life. No. It's about leaving a legacy. It's Absolutely. about, about leaving it, an impact. Because. If you want to be like people that just go through life and don't leave any sort of impact, no matter what, people though at the same time need that feeling of impact. Yeah, right? they need, of course. They of always course. feel like they need to be. They, no yeah. matter what, who you are, you want to feel like you matter. Like yes. You're, yes. Like something that you've done, something you're remembered, or you're. Why do you think 80, 90 year olds in these nursing homes are miserable? Are regretful. They're always they're all they talk about is what if I should have done this? I should have done this. And no matter what, if you're lonely, if you're a person out there that's by themselves, you're thinking that not in a bad way, but this is just truth because that's we're human people. We need other human people. That's just how it is. Yeah, we're not solitary. Exactly. You, exactly. So social creatures. So we're we social people. creatures. We no matter how you hate it. No matter the people that are cynics. No matter the people that are the fucking yeah, exactly, you know, bro. We, they we, they we, need to love even too. Even the cynics need people. Around exactly. Them, bro. Who else are they going to criticize? So, what what I'm saying is, like, what I'm trying to do through YouTube, through the platforms, I don't give a fuck about YouTube. I just love it that it's a way to spread your message through whatever you're trying to do. Yeah. You're, whatever your ambitions are, right? So, with Gabriel's Venture, I want to be, like, a channel that's embracing people and get attention and build attention through a better message that's not, you know, bullshit. Like, this guy's real as fuck. Hell yeah. He Business wise. Like, yeah. me, I'm just trying to be a lifestyle, just not a lifestyle, but like a blog and promoting good shit, like what you're trying yeah, to do. Yeah, positivity. Exactly. Man. You just want to. Like, artistry, I mean, bro, there's so culture. Much, there's I'm so obsessed much bullshit with it. media out there. The fact that you're even out here trying to be not bullshit media exactly. is already impactful as shit. And, you know and, what I mean? And I'll be straight up. I'm, I love it in a business aspect. I love being able to build attention and be able to speak a voice. And be a voice about shit like through music, culture, yeah, bro, fashion, I don't hip-hop. Know, I don't know how you came up with business. this idea, dude, but it, it was it's genius. Gabriel's venture, like what's the next venture? Like, it, bro, it's such a some I'm, I'm so happy that I ran into you fucking ran into <laughs> after like ten years. That like, yo, a week ago I ran it, into him randomly after like ten years <laughs> at a at a fucking random event in Poughkeepsie. Yeah, bro. And I was like, yo, are you gay right, bro? It's like, yeah, bro. I, I was like, yo. <laughs> Insta dap. Yeah, man. So that brand as Gabriel's Venture is 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 in work in the making. And itself of me recording these episodes and editing. And this is obviously been chopped up and edited. Yeah, yeah. That's like the growth in production and how I make videos. Of course. Because I fucking love, ever since a kid, just like you love writing, I love making a fucking story. Always being able to not bullshit, but be... Loving the game of making a story to yeah. somebody else, yeah. like yeah. like yeah. the, yeah. the, the exactly ability, to like you. the ability to like you know exactly to be mean. able to like tell you something and have you believe it because it's the story, yeah. Like, yeah. the yeah. story, like it's yeah. crazy. But, there, but I mean, there's a way. Of it's being, a game, and yeah, I love, just like Doctor yeah. Seuss. Like I love yeah. making a story, but you know what I suck at writing. So I'm trying, but you know what I'm really good at improv. Yeah. And I love it. You're, yeah, no, I love you're, it, bro. You're so natural. Bro. Yeah, bro. So natural. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yo, my girl should have said it. That day when I was interviewing people, my girl was like, yo, how'd you do that? Like, how'd you just, like, go up to, like, seven different organizations and, like, interview them like you were the fucking CNN? And I, like, realized that's I exactly, sat back. That's exactly She's like, yo, you could be a... Per-. And that's what I'm trying to go with. So this is the beginning, bro. Yeah, absolutely, bro. This is the beginning, yo, bro. Yo. This is the beginning of Larry look, King. Look at the name of that. Look at the name this of that. This is the beginning of the, the, beginning. the Larry King. The beginning. LC, bro. Get it? The beginning. That's what I'm, this is I'm about. I'm honored to have this, bro. We'll I begin. fucking go see this video. What, what's the one's the video? Fucking oh, crack, crack raps. Crack raps. Yeah. Crack crack raps crap. Go see the video. LC. The video is YouTube dope. YouTube it. LC. Crack raps. It's animated. It's pretty lit. It's dope, man. You got to make more production though. What? 
Oh so yeah, no, I need I need way more videos, bro. So many more, so many more. It's insane. Yo, that shit was dope, bro. Dude, yeah, absolutely. Bro. Thank you. <laughs> that shit was Thank dope. you. So much. What time is it?